Hello, friends. I have a hand uh, sort of therapeutic exercise for us today. And we're going to use some type of small ball. So run around right now and see if you can find something in your house that's either, these are like these squishy bouncy balls that I get at the toy store or um, a tennis ball would even work or melt balls. So what I'm going to use is this smallish one. And I'm just going to start by rolling it around in my hands like I'm rolling a little piece of pizza dough. And I'm just looking for stuff that feels crunchy or squicky. I'm just going to do a little pass down closer to my wrist, side, pinky side of my hand. I can go up around each knuckle. Yeah, towards my index finger. And then I could even do each finger. I could roll each finger one at a time. And I'm just going to sort of whip through this just for time's sake, but you could always pause this video if you get to a spot and you're like, oof, let me go back through that one. There's my thumb. And then I'm going to do the back of my hand like so, so I could go the direction of all of these little tendons, or I could go across like so, or I could do a little circle. So that's kind of how I do um, this soft tissue work, myofascial release, massage stuff, either direction of the tendons across or circles. I'm going to keep boogieing up my forearm, the back of my forearm. And you could do a couple of passes off and whoa. Often this little meaty spot will get kind of tight or squicky feeling especially if you've been on the computer. So this is a good one to do. This is called cross fiber friction when I go across. Again, circles, yeah. And I'm gonna turn my wrist over. I'm just holding my arm up so you can see this, but you could sit in a chair and do this like so. And I'm gonna cross and circle. Okay, now I'm gonna do the other side. I keep dropping my ball. I'm gonna do one finger, second finger. Yeah, can you see what I'm doing? Third finger, pinky finger. Sometimes that pinky finger needs a little extra attention. Thumbie. And then this whole inside of your palm, pinky finger, and then the back of your hand. <laughs> you have my ball attached to something. And then I can go up and down, side to side. Yeah, I can go up this outside of my forearm. And if this is your mousing hand, this is my right hand. I know it looks like reverse when I shoot these videos, but I could get in there. And then we don't want to do too, too much. You don't want to dig in there for an hour because if you do, it'll be real sore the next day. So just a little breezy, breezy, move on to the next spot. Yeah. So I'm running up and down. I'm just kind of investigating and looking for spots that feel tight and squishy. Uh, so if you, if you wanted more pressure, you could put your palm down with the ball. See, I've got the ball under my palm and push on a table or on the mat. You could do that same type of thing, rolling up and down, but having a little more pressure would be more intense. Okay, try this this week, just playing around with getting some tissue mobilization, circulation, and see how your hands and wrists and forearms feel after doing just that little bit of stuff. Yeah, and give me a little report back or comment below on how you did.